Yeah, I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking it too. Never mind. Anyways, welcome back everyone. I am Edumacated, and this is still Let's Play Mega Man 3. I mean, what else would it be? It's the only thing I've done so far. Last episode, we beat up four Robot Masters. Magnet Man, Hard Man, Top Man, and Shadow Man. And now, sitting here all by his little lonesome, is Spark Man. So we're going to go fight him. And Spark Man's face is completely black there. Whereas in the... In, in his profile picture, and I think in all other, like, art, he's it's like a, a flesh tone, which seems kind of weird. And I hate electric gabioles. That's what those things are called. These things are called elekins, and that one hit me. And I usually don't let them hit me. I love this. I mean, I, I know I keep saying it. I'm probably going to keep saying it, but this music is just awesome. Uh, hello. What do we got over here? Mm, this doesn't look good. Ah! All right. When all else fails, call on Rush. Kiss my robotic butt. You can kiss my robotic butt too, Electric Abby Wall. Don't like you. Pickle Man Bull. There we go. Pickle Man Bull. It's like Man Bear Pig. Super serial about that, too, by the way. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot to talk about anymore, I guess. <laughs> Just going through the stage. We're up to the third floor of Sparkman's uh, lair here. And, hello. I'll take that. So yeah, this is the like the last robot master that I gotta fight. I don't know what we're gonna be doing after that. I mean, I guess we give the uh, energy crystals back to uh, back to Doctor Light and Doctor Wily, and they're gonna you know do their thing. And those are gonna be a pain in the butt later. What do we got down here? We got some weapon pickups, which I can't use because everything's full. But we're just gonna have to pick them up because there's another. Yeah, I knew this was coming. Natan and Bolton. Everything's everything's got like an on name to it. Get away from me. That state that part I yes I can do it like without having to use Rush Jet. I just find it easier to use Rush Jet because, you know, Rush Jet's awesome. And here we are with Sparkman. And this is pretty much all Sparkman does is he jumps around, he throws out sparks. <laughs> little sparks, and then he charges up and fires a big one at you. That's what she said. Anyway. <laughs> By the way, I don't really like the that's what she said jokes. I just like to use them in some of the worst contexts possible for it. You know, stuff that just doesn't make sense or anything. But anyways, we absorb Sparkman's soul and we take off into the skies and we get the Spark Shock, which is probably one of the not really useful weapons. I mean, I can see where it could be useful, but I just never really use it for how it's supposed to be useful. And what's going on here? Well, Snake Man, Hard Man, Top Man, and Magnet Man are out of the picture completely. But now we've got this new thing here. What are these guys? I don't know. Let's go back to Spark Man's stage and investigate. Question Mark Man! We're fighting the Riddler! No, we're not doing that. So here we are, back on... Basement 1, and I'm going to show you the Spark Shock real quick. This is all it does. Just freezes them in place for a little bit. The problem is, like, I'm jamming the start button. See, there we go. I just got got it back after it wears off. It doesn't really do anything. Uh, excuse me. So, it's ma mainly useful just for fighting uh, bosses, really. Uh -huh. I just don't really have a use for it against the, the lesser enemies. And as you can see, there was a Shadow Blade firing upwards. Which is nice. So, yeah, things have changed here in the Sparkman stage. There are now these little wheels all over the place, which uh, push you back and forth, depending on which way they're rotating. Like, that one pushes me back, that one's going to push me forward. 
And yep, yep, yep. And look at that skill. And then we got these three. This is a little rough, but I should. Yeah, just just jump. <laughs> don't hesitate. Don't think about it. Just jump. Might as well jump. And I'll get my spark shock back. And I don't know. Oh no, that's right. I had the weapon capsule land on me earlier. Oh, that was freaking expert right there. <laughs> hmm. I had a premonition of this, didn't I? There are boss shutters this early in the, in the stage. What's going on? <gasps> it's Metal Man! And the guy he's landing in is something called Doc Robot. Uh, Doc Robot... K-179, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna look over here at my handy-dandy book. Uh, nope, K-176, excuse me. Now, a little bit of uh, history behind uh, Doc Robot is, uh, Doc Robot in Japan, that was close. You did, okay. <laughs> uh, Doc Robot in Japan, in the Japanese version of uh, Mega Man a.k.a. Rockman. Uh, he's known as Dokuroboto. Uh, which, you know, if you know anything about Japanese culture, they love their play on words. Because they can just do so much with it. Uh, in this case, it's a portmanteau of uh, the words Dokuro, which is Japanese for skull, and Roboto, which is pretty much robot. You know, if you can't figure that out. So, yeah, he's basically uh literally a uh, skull robot or I guess you know we could probably call him like skull bot or something like that but instead the translators didn't pick up on that and so they just called him Doc Robot which when I first saw him I thought he doesn't look anything like a doctor <laughs> he looks like a monster which he kind of is <laughs> and oh it's quick man and since we don't have the flash stopper, we're going to have to use something else. Actually, we don't have flash stopper. This is a Mega Man 4. Um, well, apparently, Quick Man is afraid of snakes. Who knew, right? And, uh, yeah, you if you're going to take a hit, and you're probably going to, get hit by the Quick Boomerangs instead of Quick Man himself. You'll take much less damage and be a lot happier. And considering you're using a really hard-to-work-with weapon like the Search Snake, anything's better than nothing. So we're just going to go backwards through the stages we went through already, and we're going back to Shadow Man stage for another question mark, which I think by now we know what we're dealing with. And now all of the lava has been replaced by instant death spikes. How nice. How nice of the programmers to do that for us. Oh, you get... Didn't jump high enough there. Uh, thanks for the instant death spikes, guys. Uh, let's try this again funny like you if you jump too high you're gonna hit those spikes up there jump too low you're gonna hit the spikes down there and then you got to make a quick right turn or else you die to those spikes it's like <laughs> it's like somebody came through here and it said needs more spikes and where we fought mysterious red man there's now a not so mysterious red beaky and he's dead and we're moving on and it's fun we're making progress here, right? And more of these little suction cup dudes. Hey, there's an extra life to make up for the one I lost like a retard. No, seriously, you know, I, I played like I was just completely slow. Like I was just completely off. And, you know... And yeah, Rush Jet makes this particular area so much easier. And the reason why I'm jumping like a like a fool here is because that just conserves my energy. And down we go. Forget you living grenades. Uh oh, we've got some boss shutters here. Who could it be? Who could it be now? Who can it be knocking at my door? Go away. I don't live here no more. It's Woodman! We don't have atomic fire or crash bombs or anything, so we gotta use needles! And yeah, if you're gonna, again, it's like Quick Man. If you're gonna take a hit, take the hit off of those leaves floating down, because yeah, the leaf shield really hurts. 
as does Woodman himself, but if you keep just keep pelting him with needles, you should be fine. He was one of the ones that kind of stymied me as a kid. Like, I just couldn't damage him fast enough to get by him. And then I learned I just need to be more aggressive against him. Like, know exactly when that shield goes down and when you can just unload. And we're back over here. Ooh, I'll take that, sure. Even though Rush Jet could use it, I don't think I'm going to use Rush Jet very much anymore. And yeah, those things now ambush you at every jump. That's why I'm doing that, just to kind of lure things out. No, no, okay. You can lure him out. And you know, anticipatory shots there. No, 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 okay. Whew, all right. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do that. Nothing else I can do with him. No, 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 get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Don't you boing oing, -oing at me. <laughs> ah, no energy pickups. That's unfortunate. But that's okay. I think we'll be alright. Maybe, I don't know. Heat Man! Mr. Zippo Lighter is in the house. And I usually never dodge this first attack! Nope, today is no, no, no exception. Oh, that was close. Ow. Ow. That actually really hurts! And he's dead. All right. A little bit of concentration there. Ah, so. With those two stages down, looks like we got time for another. So uh, we are going to go back to Needleman stage. And it is now nighttime here at Needle City. But it's it's just as dangerous as ever. Ow. Yeah, those th th these guys hurt so much. In so many ways. They hurt my soul sometimes. So, yeah, there's now, like, true blue instant death spikes here. And there are dozens more needle presses. Just, just kind of walk through it, walk through it. There we go. Atta boy, Mega Man. Bounce up here. Switch back to the Buster. And what do we got? What do we got? Another one of these guys. Thanks for the health pickup. That kind of helps. Come up here and get extra lives because I need them. Need every single one. And I'll get that energy tank because I could use that too. And up we go. What do we got? Needle Harry. Dar, 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 dar. We'll reload the rush jet because it will be necessary for our journey further in. Meanwhile, I'm going to equip Spark Shock because it's about time for it to shine. Against Airman, one of the most feared bosses in Mega Man 2. He's even got a whole song named after him now. I can't kill Airman or something like that, or Airman won't die. Ooh, that was... Ow. I was about to say, that was really expert right there. Ow. Actually, couldn't have asked for a better setup because I can actually kill Airman on one pass. That was beautiful. Anytime I can beat Airman without taking a lot of damage is a pretty good day. But yeah, actually, the secret to Air Man, and you know, even here in Mega Man 3, it's no no exception. Uh, just stay aggressive with him. Uh, keep try to keep in his face as much as possible. And it's hard to do, I know, because you know he's gonna keep blowing you away. Because he's gonna blow his uh, air shooter tornadoes at you. But if you stay pretty much in his face, you you have no problems. And we're just gonna fly up here because there's just way too much traffic going in. Now watch this trick right here. Ow. Not that trick. This trick. Whee! Yep. Dang it. Yambos. Go away. Don't want you. Um. Uh, we're alright. 
Yambos. <laughs> Dragonfly Yambos, go away. Not to be confused with the Yumbo, which is uh, a ham sandwich made by Burger King. I've never had those before, though. Must be some kind of a throwback uh, sandwich, too. I, I, I'll have to take their word for it. I was born in the, in the late 70s, so there's my trick again. Yay. And uh, I'm going to try not to... There, there we go. Try to save some of them just in case I die. Which is never outside the realm of possibility. Well, he, sometimes that guy will run down the, uh, the ladder, and sometimes he'll just run straight across it. This time he ran across it. Health pickups, health pickups, health pickups, one health pickup. Eh, that'll work. Oh no, it's Metals with propellers sticking out of their heads. What has science done? What has robotic science done? And he's gonna, yep. And that Metals just gonna go away, and I'm gonna be at full life again, which makes me extremely happy. Happiness is a full life bar. Put that on a shirt and sell it. And that giant metal is dead, and this will suck, probably. I'm just going to jump over that life pellet because I don't really need it. And uh, we're coming up on our next boss, which uh, should be who I think it is. Yes, it is Crash Man, who's actually weak to the air shooter, which we just got from fighting Air Man, except we didn't get it at all. And uh, thanks to the Hard Knuckles' slow-moving tendencies, uh, it fakes out Crash Man. Which, uh, his crash bombs don't seem to give a crap. <laughs> uh. And four hits, and he's dead. I've been drinking a lot of Snapple <laughs> lately, by the way. That's why I'm belching so much. And so that's going to do it for three of the uh, the Doc Robot stages. There's one more left, and it's Gemini Man. And we will tackle that in the next video. So until then, have a good day today. I have been educated, and now so have you.